My name is Mark Rodman. I'm CEO of Bioreference Laboratories. Now, we probably are the third largest laboratory in the country. We'll do over $400 million. It's not meant to go say anything or to go in and impress anybody. It's not meant for that at all. We're a public company. You can look all about us. But what we are and what we've done over the years is that we haven't forgotten that it was a physician-based company and that we started to try to do things right. When we first started to go in and look in the area of genetics, it was a question that came up to me when I was making attending rounds in July on the wards of Columbia. And a question of a patient with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy with a medical student taught me that everything that I knew when I went to school was all different and changed. And from that point, meeting different people, working with people, many of whom are in this room, bioreference expanded and got to know Gene DX. One thing was very clear to me, that if whatever we do in genetics cannot be done as a laboratory, it has to start in a genetics laboratory where one has the capability and understanding of this very difficult field. We also realized that if we're going to get started, we had to go in and find platforms that were going to give us the flexibility, because the realization in working with doctors all these years is that doctors do not order mutations, as I mentioned before. They order for clinical need, and the role and the goal of genetics is to go in and answer those clinical questions. So I know everyone gets solicited to come to meetings, but I want you to know that this is different. The program that we started with GeneDX and the program that we started in cardiology to be able to go in and find a way, a solution for cardiac genetics is really our attempt to go in and get it right. It's our attempt to do the right thing by patients and by educators and physicians, to educate, to learn ourselves. We're trying to get there. This meeting is important not only for you to meet people who've worked with us, but for us to meet you because more than anything else, we want to look back over this enterprise over the last five years and feel that we have contributed something to advancing this science slash service, because it really is both. Um, there are some things that are different about us. Most of the work that we've done in introduction to a wide range of cardiac testing has really started with centers of excellence, if you will. We really started working with areas and those people who have both geneticists and physicians. So many of the patients that we see are relatively well selected. Um, the other thing is that when cases are reviewed with us, it's an input of, of not just one person, but it's a team. It's a team of clinical cardiologists, of geneticists who work together to be able to come in and come up and hopefully provide a reasonable answer. It's a process and one that we're very proud about. What we're going to do tonight is that there are a number of people at the tables who are people who we've gotten to know and who've worked with us. Um, and you, those of you at the tables know all of you who, you know, where they are. Um, Dr. Priori is here with Dr. Micaiah from GeneDX. Dr. Art Moss, um, who everyone here knows, and Sherry Bale, who is the founder of GeneDX. Dr. Anselovich and Dr. Maurer um, are here tonight. Dr. Hirschberger, I'm pleased to see him, with Dr. Judge from Hopkins, Dr. Marin, and Dr. Chung, and Dr. Basso. All of you, thank you very much for being here, and the format is such so that after I introduce Sherry Bale, for you to be able to go in and talk and ask questions within your own tables. And then beyond that, I have certainly no problem for people to go wander and talk and have a chance to be able to exchange ideas. In my other role in life, um, and I'm probably talking too long, Amr, if you want me to shut me off, well, um, I'm, we have an association of all laboratories in this country called the American Clinical Laboratory Association. I'm the chairman of that association. Um, some of the members are Quest and LabCorp, and you've heard of those, and other laboratories like Genzyme and AIRUP. We have about 40 members, and most of our, my last few months have been spent in Washington and health reform. And we deal with a lot of issues about what's going to pretend for health. And one of the things that we have to go deal with is an amendment to the health reform bill by Senator Sheehan of New Hampshire that will make laboratory results available to patients within 30 days of their result, with or without the doctor. These are brave times. We're moving a time where patients want to know more than they would have ever thought they would have known. And where the information that we go in and provide is going to be increasingly complex. Here we have to take it seriously. We have a responsibility to provide information, both to the clinician 
and the patient that's going to be as helpful and useful as possible. You being here, working with us, is going to help us achieve that goal. Ultimately, it's all about patients, and I want to thank you all for being here and helping us be in, take on that initiative. I'd like to go in and introduce Sherry Bell, who has a few comments. GeneDX started by Sherry and her partner John Compton in 2001, who were geneticists at NIH, as a place and as a home, if you will, for rare disorders or zebras. No one has worn, had, taken, used more zebras <laughs> in this country than Sherry. So if anyone goes by the booth and finds one of our toy zebras, you'll know Gene DX. Anyway, thank you very much, and thank you for being here tonight. Thank okay, thanks, Mark, and let me try to get this one off.